I'm Peter with Ericom, the Cybersecurity Unit at Cradle Point. And this is the Ericom Enlighten series. Gartner notes that simply isolating the browser from the end user's device significantly improves an organization's security posture. So let's talk a little bit about what is remote browser isolation, T-I-O-N, or R-B-I. All right, so got our people over here, and they have their device. And then over here, we have a web server. Now, anytime you click on a website link, you know, the data from the web server, the HTML, the JavaScript, all the code goes directly to the browser and then executed on the browser. Now, there could be risks or threats involved, like maybe malware downloads, or there's, you know, an ad server over here delivering malicious ads. This could be a phishing site that loads on the system. So there are a lot of things out there, you know, the internet. I think they were saying, I read recently that something like 70% of the new domains being registered these days are for things like malicious sites. So in this instance, if there's any malicious code, it executes directly on the machine. Any malware goes directly on the machine and now the machine is compromised. So now let's talk about remote browser isolation. And so instead, of executing directly on the end user's browser. What happens is, so this website actually gets built, constructed, executed within an isolated cloud container. Isolated cloud container. So any malicious code, any malware, anything like that actually just executes here in the cloud. And then whatever is built in here is then delivered to the browser. Now this end user can still interact with the website, click the links, they can enter forms, they can upload and download. If, if you deem that appropriate, but nothing here is going directly here. It's all being executed within an isolated cloud container. And so what happens is that, you know, since everything is executed in here, any malware doesn't reach the device, any, you know, lousy ad servers never gets delivered to the device. You can also have a lot of control over this. So, you know, a lot of organizations actually assign this to their C-suite because they're targets for phishing attacks. So say a phishing attack comes in, it's isolated within the container, within a policy, you can make that phishing site a read-only site within this container and actually make it read-only and they're unable to enter their credentials on a phishing site protected here in the isolated cloud container. You can do things like CDR, which is, what is that again? Content, content disarm and reconstruction. And so in those way, in those, you know, files that are potentially malicious and downloaded get broken down, 
reconstructed. Anything that's not allowed doesn't make it on the way to the end user. In this isolated container, you can also disable things like print screen or copy and paste or any other kinds of policies that kind of limit any information that's going here. But you just know that it's all contained within here. So there are a couple modes too. There is like pixel mode where everything is built in here and then it's essentially sort of streamed to the browser. So if you think about a situation, if you have like your, your laptop or your computer HDMI'd, you know, to the TV, everything is executing and playing on the laptop and the monitor is just playing anything that's coming off here. There's also another mode called crystal mode where, you know, active content, say JavaScript or any of those things that can deliver malware that are malicious are, you know, executed in here. And then, you know, only HTML and things like that could be, you know, executed on the browser. But in any event, remote browser isolation separates the device and the person from a potentially malicious site executing everything in an isolated cloud container. And whenever they close that tab or that browser window, this instantly goes away. If you'd like to learn more about RBI, we'd love if you could visit eracom.com. If you enjoy content like this, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Peter, and I'll see you next time on the Ericom Enlightened Series. Ericom, the cybersecurity unit of Cradlepoint. Visit us at www.ericom.com today.